Hi, ladies. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Wendy, how are you, my darling? Yeah. Alison, how are you? Thank you. Ready to go? Ready to go. Yeah, I like that. So, three sisters. Yeah. Yes. You're not the sister, are you? No. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Now. Tonight is all about good food made fast. Yeah? Right. Cuthbert, we haven't no. started cooking. I know, I'm sure. Pig. It's the heat. It's, it's the heat. heat. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, yes. Lovely. We're ready. Jane and Cuthbert, that side. Lovely. Wendy and Alison, this side, yes? Okay, lovely. Yes, chef, okay, chef. good. Thank you, chef. Right, Wendy. Yes, chef. The menu, what is it? The menu tonight, chef, is for our starter, we've got a fresh tuna with. Oh, holy shit. I'm now starting to shit myself. We haven't cooked anything. You're I sweating know. like a pig. Wendy hasn't got a clue what's going on, and uh, I'm getting slightly nervous. It was, yeah, right. OK, it's a seared tuna salad niçoise. OK, that was a shit start. Yeah? It was. It was. It was, it was terrible. Yes. Let's do the first table together. Time, six minutes for the eggs. Yeah, four Let's minutes. do the first table together. To right, listen, no. the only thing we're cooking is a tuna, tuna. at the last minute and the eggs. Three or four potatoes each, yes? Handful of beans, yes? Yes, yes And pitted olives. A shallot rings, shallot yes. Rings. Cherry tomatoes, yes. Yes, yes. What are they called? Anchovies. Anchovies. Anchovy fillets, good. Dress that. That's done. Yep. Olive oil in the pan, nice and hot. Yep. In. in. Literally one minute each side. Yeah. Turn. Turn it. Bring the heat back up into the pan. Yeah. Balsam with vinegar, and we just go over. Yeah. Yeah. Off. Sliced. Careful, I don't want it ripped. Look. Right. Seared oh, beautifully. Yes. Pink in the centre. Eggs out, please. And then from there, open. Come Where's on, the eggs? Eggs. eggs. Egg. Now, I'm sorry, but there's nothing difficult there, is there? No. Let's go. Good hey, girl. Good, it's good it's girl. It's it's when it's it's no... Come on, Jalis, make out the way. Careful, careful, careful. Fucking hell, you're like a fucking... <laughs> like a bull in China shop. Watch. Up, and then... Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a bit. Yeah. That's, that's nice. That's Look, that's listen to me. Perfect. Sit that there and let it drizzle inside. And that there... Is. It's fit for a king. Yeah. Right, would you pay for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cuthbert. I certainly would. You haven't even yeah. touched it and you're still sweating. I would do, it's lovely. Let's go. I can't help you, please. please. Right. <laughs> you know. Lovely, go, Olivella. Tonight's brigade is Wendy, Alison, Jane and Cuthbert. Well, as you can see by my physique, I really do love food. I go abroad, I want to taste what they cook, and if I don't like it, at least I've tried it. I do love cooking. Since I've been the age of eight, I've been cooking. Some people find cooking, oh, I've got to go and cook dinner, but when I get up in the morning, I wonder what am I going to cook for that evening meal. Well, my favourite is I like doing fish and chips. I use a nice pint of lager in my batter. Family's very important to us. There's so many of us, and you don't need anyone else if you've got family and you're close. I think me, Alison, and Wendy have always enjoyed cooking. You're doing them too little. Look, it's little tiny bits. I want uh, don't big like bits. Cake. Alison will definitely call Sparks in the kitchen with Golden, and they both know about the F word. I'm the most aggressive. I, I definitely am. I know that, but it's probably because I'm going through my change. I don't know. I believe we are going to be the best brigade Golden has ever had. Eat your right out, Mr. Ramsey. We're on ya. Two covers table nine, two sardines, one, two roast chicken, two apple and pear. Yes, yes. yes. Right, Cuthbert. Yes. Two tuna salad. Two tuna salad. One egg for two portions. You've got four fucking so eggs in there. Sorry, chef. One egg, two portions. One egg, two portions. Let's go, big man. So we want two, chef. Cuthbert. Yeah. One egg, one, two, two portions. portions. Oh, we only want... Yes, sorry, yes. chef. I'm doing it again, tonight. I? I can't count, <laughs> chef. Sorry, chef. Right, listen. Yes, sir. Once you be dressing the salad, <laughs> yes, once you get the tuna yeah. ready, who's doing I'm, the salad? I'm doing the tuna. Oh, fuck me. You're doing the salad. So fucking low on Harley show. This is another fine mess I got myself into, Cuthbert. Oh, oh, right, <laughs> Alison, get that pan Alison, nice and hot. Nice hot, and hot. It won't get any hotter than any quicker. Ready, chef. Finish it. Be careful yeah, cutting it, cutting yeah? It. Very it, careful, yeah? Sorry about that, yeah, chef. Nice and pink. Yeah. However, very, very nice. Cut. OK, go, please. Yeah, table nine. Well done. Oh, well, you Let's go, big boy, yes? Lovely. My lambs have eaten all the grass in my back garden, so I've decided to send them up the property ladder. Right, guys, come here, quick. <laughs> right, no. My gorgeous lamb, Charlotte and Gavin, are now nine weeks old. Putting on two kilos a week, my flock is eating me out of house and home. Hugh Furley Whittingstall suggested I find new pasture, as fresh grass will help keep their mothers producing rich milk and good grazing will give Charlotte and Gavin great flavour. Johnny Vaughan's got AstroTurf and you've got no grass left, is that right? Sorry, can't help. Damn, that's a no. Actually, you've really seriously pulled me out of the shit, I can assure you. Thank you. Oh, uh, that's no problem. Bye, Charlotte and Gavin. See you in two weeks. See you in two weeks. 
Today is moving day, but moving livestock is not my bag. Luckily, Hugh has volunteered to help. Hopefully, he also knows how to dismantle a sheep hut. I really hate DIY. So you're not telling me who, where they're going, Gordon? She has an amazing... It's a she, is it? Yes, an amazing garden. Yeah. Now, has it got a decent bit of grass on it? Yes, it's got long grass. Shit! <laughs> Literally. Your poo oh. bin is leaking. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and now I've been electrocuted. God, Hugh, you're worse than Tana. You know what, Gordon? Go on. You've even got a builder's crack. <laughs> Sorry about that. We need to spread yeah. straw in the trailer to make the sheep comfortable the during the journey. Yeah. Just so that they think of the trailer as being a nice place to be. It also helps Hugh to feel at home. No, Hugh, stop fucking around. I'm going to look like you now. Fucking stop fucking around. Come on. There you go. They're, They're off. off. How easy is that? Look, hey, they're in, they're down. in. Down. Hey. It's common practice for farmers like Hugh to move sheep from pasture to pasture. You'll be right. Just, just yeah, go and the trailer will follow. But not so usual in south-west London anymore. I can't believe how good they were getting in there. Yeah, they'll be quite comfy back there. Mm -hmm. I'll find out later what Hugh makes of their new home. I loved it. I adore tuna anyway. Uh, the tuna was cooked superbly. It was a little bit pink, and the eggs were very flavoursome. They were lovely. The, the tuna was well cooked, if a little bit cold. All in all, I enjoyed it. Yes. Results. Uh, JB. Here we go. So, for the starters... 37 out of 50. <laughs> Go. Listen, Woo. keep it going. You yes, are now yes, in yes, the yes, lead. Yes, 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 yes. yes. OK? Don't oh. fuck it up. You got 37 out of 50. Yes, thank you, guys. OK. Next on the menu, the foodie gobshite gives me another mouthful. Can't believe I'm 40 years of age and Janice Street Porter's blind feeding me. Yeah, thank you. Are. Just look at it as kinky sex. Oh, my God. The brigade serves up a delicious main course of chicken in a morel sauce with seasonal asparagus. And eccentric talent scout David Guess helps me in my search for a new female cook. I found a vagina cook. We can find him a fanny. <laughs> yes. Welcome back to the F Word. Now, time for the main course. Uh, no, stop. Stop, stop, stop. stop. They're burned. Pan fried chicken breast with morel sauce. Chicken is the nation's favourite meat. We've roasted it, we've stir-fried it, we've curried it. This is a new dimension, so with a wonderful, rich morel sauce. Just before it goes in the pan, get your cloth and just pat it dry. That gets rid of any excess moisture, therefore when it goes in the pan, it doesn't spit at you. Season. Skin side down, into the pan. Garlic. Thyme. Knob of butter, in straight into the oven. Eight to ten minutes, 180 degrees. Morel sauce. And the most important thing about these dried morels is you just add boiling water, it rehydrates the mushroom, then there's an added bonus. You've got your own mushroom stock. Drain off our mushrooms. We into the pan. Shallots. Garlic. Thyme. Splash of white wine. The white wine starts to sweeten it up. Mushroom stock. Reduce. Cream. Bring that up to the boil and literally just cook it for one minute. And the secret now is to pass the sauce through the sieve, get your ladle, and just push. Wonderful colour, not too thick, and full of flavour. Perfect. Asparagus. They're in season and it's British. Cut off the bottom part of the spear. That's the woody part. Don't throw away. Great for stocks and great for soups. First, we're going to cook them from raw on a griddle pan. Olive oil. Fresh morel mushrooms. Just cut them into halves. Soak to the mushroom, hot olive oil. Fresh thyme. And finish at the very end with a touch of butter. And we're ready to serve. Start from the top and just slice in half. Our fresh morel mushrooms. Sauce over. Goodbye stir fry. Goodbye roast chicken. No more curries. That's 
British at its best. Pan fried chicken with morel sauce. Done. No, don't keep it on the skin for a little while. No. Get some colour on the potatoes. Time. Yes? Yes, Chef. Don't keep on mushing them yes, in a way yes. that they get too broken up. Be very right. careful. Yes, right, that's yes. a nice colour on there. Good. Yes, okay. Nice. Minute, mushrooms. Nice hot pan. You do not boil the mushrooms. You soak the mushrooms, yes? Yes, oh, Chef. chef. Alison, look at your sauce. Yes, Chef. Yeah, yeah, look at your well, sauce. Oh, so <laughs> <Sauce. laughs> Let's go. Mushroom. Taste the sauce. This is mushroom. Wendy, it's mushroom. Don't get it too dark. Those pans have always got to be hot. Alison? Yes, Chef. Alison? Yes, Chef. You're slicing the chicken, right? Yes, Chef. OK. Look on the hot plate. Wendy. Yeah, this right. is what I'm trying to say. But we've got things we're supposed to be Alison, She's you put the food in the bowl one. first, the chicken gets sliced last. Yes, Chef. The potatoes aren't cooked, mushrooms aren't out of the pan, and now you want to argue. So I'm just trying to get you organised. Stop slicing the chicken for five minutes and help get the food in the fucking bowl. Right, where's the bowl? Watch out, here is the biggest gob in the food world. Pressed foie gras marinated in white pork. Foie gras marinated in Pinot Noir caramel. Or this menu, honey and soy roasted quail with foie gras and spiced pear chutney. Well, if you ask me, Gordon is bloody obsessed with foie gras. If you go through the menus of his restaurants, Foie gras features on nearly every one. Foie gras is a foodie's delight. It has a unique buttery taste and texture that makes it often irresistible. But the trouble is, the way that the French make it is by force feeding ducks and geese, holding their beaks open and shoving down a lot of food. And quite frankly, that's a bit repulsive, isn't it? Well, I think the French think that foie gras is a French food. Nobody else can produce it, and they own the copyright on it, if you like. <laughs> but that French monopoly is now being challenged by a so-called ethical foie gras from Spain. I want to know if the French and Spanish products can even compare. If they can, I'm going to challenge Gordon to change his mind and his menus. To get to the bottom of all this hoo-ha about foie gras, I've decided to come to the heart of rural France, to the Dordogne, and pay my first visit ever to a foie gras farm. Bonjour. 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 Foie gras is cruel. No. It's not cruel. <laughs> no. no. It's not cruel. On va voir les vrais gauvages. Yeah. Okay. Voilà. Okay. Oh. Look at this lot. They're not rushing Ils towards me expecting dinner. Nous, yeah. So that makes me think they don't really want it. They yes, are friends. Oh, pas trop, non? They're not. No, no. I'm told the birds on this farm receive six kilos of grain a day. It's the actual business of putting the tube down the throat that I find quite hard to look at. French farmers insist that only force feeding can create the taste and texture. What seems like a cruel way of producing a delicacy is simply a continuation of a centuries-old tradition. <laughs> I know they're not the most intelligent of animals, but they must have a little brain. And do they really like this? I mean, the plus is they've had a massive dinner. The downside is their life's going to end in a few days' time. <laughs> <laughs> this poor animal, ten days more alive, death row. And probably the last nightmare he's going to have is Janet Street Porter holding him. After two to three weeks of force feeding, the liver is at its most engorged and the duck is slaughtered. Oh, look how big it is. Oh, God, it's disgusting. The liver is ten times bigger than normal, and it's this unnatural amount of fat that creates the distinctive taste. Now I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> Devil's food. Mm. I wasn't very happy seeing how the geese were fed. It's given me a lot to think about. I'm probably going to have nightmares now. <laughs> Not very happy about it <laughs> at all. And I won't be eating it anymore, definitely. Now, what's really pissed the French off is that the Spanish producers have won the prestigious medal for innovation at the Paris International Food Salon, and they're not happy. 
Now it's time to put this Spanish product to the test. If I'm to have any hope of changing Gordon's mind, I've got to find him an alternative that rivals the taste of the French. <laughs> How many geese are here? Aquí ahora mismo habrá unos 6.000 unidades repartidos entre... 6,000 geese? Where are they? ¿Dónde están? ¿Dónde están? Farmer Eduardo explains that if we kneel down, the geese will come freely to us. Am I going to pray to a goose? I can't believe I'm going to do this. Each year, the geese binge eat local acorns and olives to prepare for their migration. Ellos están aquí en total libertad y, bueno, como podéis ver, son felices. So what? This is like a five-star hotel, luxury hotel for geese. Sí. But unlike most hotels, the best-fed guests get slaughtered. How do you know when the liver is ready, when they are ready to be um, culled? Normalmente, cuando va a venir el, el frío, mm. ellos empiezan a comer con un, de una forma... They so, eat non-stop. Sounds non -stop. like a lot of people I know, Eduardo. <laughs> Seeing the birds in their natural environment was a refreshing sight, but I couldn't help wondering, would their livers be as stuffed with fat as their ethical credentials? <laughs> now, I can already say that this is much smaller than the French liver. That is an ethical goose liver. But most crucially, would the Spanish taste as good as the French? I'm going to taste it. Delicious. Mm. Very good, Eduardo. Muy bueno. Well, this product has got all the taste and none of the cruelty. It tastes bloody marvellous. This is food that you can eat with a clear conscience. So I'm going to go back home and I'm going to bloody going to force feed it to Gordon. Gordon. The difficult diner. Hello, Hi, Peter. Mm, good to see you. Right, I just want to... Show me your bus pass. Fuck got... off. Excuse me? Just fuck off. Right. Why, oh why, do you have foie gras on all your menu? The foie gras is delicious and it's a delicacy and all it's right, just so as just exciting. As you can sleep at it. night okay. knowing that geese have had things rammed down their throat. No, no. Full speed. Them. They do. When... Properly reared. Half forced. Half forced. It is still forcing. God, Jesus Christ. Have you got a hearing aid in? Because you're shouting so much more than last year. Oh, because they're all frying behind you. Have you got a hearing aid in there? No, of course uh, not. Just don't, right, right. don't wind me up. It's OK. Can we do a deal here? That if you can't tell the difference yes. between the ethical foie gras and the yes. horrible shoot down your gob foie gras, yeah. okay. that you serve yes. the ethical foie gras. Okay. Trust me, if okay. I cannot tell the difference, I will serve it in my restaurant, OK? OK. Off we go. First one. Here's the first one. OK, thank you. Right. Mm. I like you with a blindfold. Stop getting kinky, for God's sake. <laughs> right, have you swallowed it yet? Mm. Oh, my God. OK, next yeah. one, please. I can't believe I'm 40 years of age and Janice Reporter's blind feeding me. Yeah, Thank you. Right. Just look at it as kinky sex. Oh, my God. Right, get on with it. Mm -hmm. First one was very smooth and it sort of, you know, it sort of lined the roof of my mouth. The second one was a lot rougher but didn't have the impact of the richness of a foie gras. Which one would you like to serve in your restaurant? Uh, definitely the first one, smooth and, yeah, yeah. The second one is the ethical one, which goes to show that Ooh. Gordon doesn't mind. Uh, listen, hey, listen, no, down listen, the listen, no, uh, excuse me, hey, that confirms that my palate's ten times better than yours. JB, hell. help Janet back yes, to her sorry. wheelchair, please. Let's go. 30 seconds, guys. I'm sorry, but this is one hour and 20 minutes. I've got enough potatoes here for two. Jane, Jane, you're part of this. Everyone just disappears when it gets to the... Sorry, this is chef. supposed to be the exciting part, yet no-one's here. Is this OK, Chef? Right. That one's got no sauce, that one's got sauce, that one's all stuttered at the side. I'm not going to argue, just get some sauce on there, OK? Dirty plate. Dirty plate, dirty plate. Come and clean the plate. What are you doing? What next, Chef? Right, no, fuck all's next. Too late. I can't ask these people, A, to pay. You've got to serve them. But they are not expected Wait. to pay. Yes, One sir. hour, 25 right. minutes. Yes, Sorry, Chef. Quickly, quickly. Sorry about the white. That did not need to be that hard. <laughs> You're a family. There's nothing close knit in what you've just done. The last hour of no service. Teamwork. No teamwork. No teamwork. Thank you. That's right. Now, for the dessert, you Let's have to work as a team. Yes, you were chef. slicing yes, chicken, 
and Wendy wasn't oblivious that you're doing it. And I almost said to you from the out. I did say get shirt plates out, chef. Not blaming Wendy, but she's a bitch. I did say get the plates out. I did. Did I? Did I not say get the? I did not say get the plates out. This is not about blame, it's about working yeah. together. Yeah, chef, yeah. For the dessert, we though. have to work together. We will, yeah. Yes, we'll yeah. clear down. Yes, chef, come on, chef. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. David, good to see you, my man. How are you? Good to see you. Are you well? I'm very good. Guys, ladies, good evening. Good evening. Um, how was the main course? Excellent. This was good. You enjoyed it, yes? Yeah, really good. good. The chicken was nice, the mushrooms were nice? Yeah. What did you pay for that? I didn't. You invited me as your guest. <laughs> you can afford £12, can't you? No. £8 pound for the starter. No. You su You uh, won't pay £12 pounds for that. Yeah. I have a gift for you. O already? Yes. That's very kind, this, thank you. My housekeeper, Vagina Kasiman. Right. Is, is this person real? She's real. She wants you to know she is writing her own cookbook, the Vagina Kasiman cookbook, and she has a very special semen cake. Very salty, but you're going to get it. She's sending it to the mail. This is from Vaginica. Cufflinks, a blind man made them for her, no. but there's a V for Vaginica. You're a very generous man. Oh, no. Yes. Now, you were married to Liza. Yes. Did you ever cook for her? No. She once cooked for me. Mm -hmm. She used mm -hmm. a lot of wine. <laughs> were, 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 were you her? I just was joking. Lawyers, I, oh, God, I give the right it. amendment. She didn't use wine. She used what? beer and she used vodka. Oh, okay, go on. Did you ever argue over food? No, because we both like the same foods, and she would always steal from my plate, and I'd steal from her plate. Yes. We, she, she had yes. a great appetite. Now, you've got an eye for talent. Yes. Very much so. I've been searching to find a new talented female cook. I need your help now to get the word out there. Spread the word to the nation. Right. And I think this is going to be right up your street. I want you to get it out on the street. Find me a fan. <laughs> I love it. OK. I would will. You, yes, please. Should it's, I wear it on Greece? It's a <laughs> I found a vagina coat. We can find him a fatty. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I love and, it. And, I love and, it. And don't forget that T-shirt, yes? I won't. Thank you. Excellent. Such... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What in the fuck is he on? Potatoes are a bit hard. And I don't, al dente is nice for vegetables and pasta, but not potatoes, I don't think. OK, uh, we were slow. What a shame. Here we go. Let's find out how many customers out of 50 paid for the main. Main. Oh. 30 customers paid for the main course. Oh, 30. 30. 30. 30. And that means 20 didn't. Sorry, chef. For what reason? What did they say? So obviously too long. Too long, again. Any raw potatoes. In a, raw potatoes. Bit a bit bland. Yeah. But we didn't have potatoes on the main meal. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now you scare me. Now you know it was on your plate. Yeah. But let's get 50 out of 50, yes? Paying for the dessert, yes? Oh, chef. Yes. Next on the menu, Blur's Alex James takes me on in the recipe challenge. Alex is using hay. I'm not, because it's fucking disgusting. It's a cockney tits up when desserts get burnt. All the others, if you look, I'll put them in the fucking bin. I missed one. And I become the deer hunter. No. No. Welcome back to the F Word. Now, time for me to beat Alex James in the recipe challenge. Ready? Ready. Right, but what am I doing? What are you doing, Alex? I'm doing breast of lamb. Stuffed, breast of lamb. Rolled and stuffed up with mushrooms, bake it in hay, um, on a, a bed of spinach with uh, some baked shallots. Uh -huh. Nothing fancy. You are quite a secret little foodie, aren't you? I do love my... Well, um, when you live in the country, kind of life does tend to revolve around food, really. I mean, it yeah. can take all day making, uh, making dinner. Rumour has it you're turning into a bit of a sort of Hugh Furley Whittingstall, yes? The sort of... The trout farm phase of the sort of rock star trajectories is inevitable as the uh, sort of model chasing boozy phase, you know. So Alex is doing a stuffed breast of lamb. I'm going to do a saddle of lamb stuffed with wild mushrooms, sage, a little bit of mint and some mascarpone cheese bound together with some spinach. Um, Alex is using hay. I'm not because it's fucking disgusting. Why hay? It's nice. It gives it a nice... It does give it a nice flavour. I'm going to give it a bit of a scorch so you get, like, caramelised hay. So you be a bit sweeter. You're going yes. really fast. I'm going at the city speed. <laughs> You're going at the country speed. You see, yeah. 
<laughs> it's very hard for me to imagine that you're a rock star, and now you're this laid-back countryman. Can you see through all that hair, Alex? Yeah, man. So you've got this one big eye. curtain coming through. One, so you're looking through one eye. Yeah. If I get this right, it's flash. So you've got the mushrooms in there? Yeah, just giving it a little roll. Nice. Huh? It's quite a well-trimmed piece, actually. Yeah. And then you're going to tie that in string? Yeah, if I can. That's the tricky bit. Excellent. Very chef that. You know that? Huh. OK. After so many years as a highly successful band yeah. and a rock and roll lifestyle to go with it, don't you miss it? I kind of... I wouldn't like to think there'd never be another Blur record, but I don't, I don't sort of yearn for it, no. I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to sort of leave behind. Of course. But um, I think, it, you know, it's been good that there's not been sort of a Blur record for a while, cos we all kind of needed to learn how to sort of be, be grown-ups. Yeah. Well, that looks all right, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, i tell you what, from a, from a chef's point of view, it looks like it's tied nice and tightly. And more importantly, now you've stuffed it, nothing's leaking out. This is very... The guy who uh, sold me my pigs, I showed him this hay and he said, that's too good Holy for pigs. Holy shit, you're serious. So what are you doing with the hay? You've wet it, Alex. Wet it and then give it a bit of a... T I haven't tried this before. Now you're going to set fire to it. Uh, <laughs> you're like a countryside arsonist. I can't believe you set fire to the hay. Alex, it looks yes. like a large bird's nest, yes? <laughs> and you've just laid a big maggot in it. So, mushrooms are in there, spinach is in there. I'm just going to season it now with some lightly grated nutmeg, salt, pepper, and a tablespoon of mascarpone cheese. Bind all those mushrooms and the eggs together and stuff that inside the saddle of lamb. <laughs> uh, Alex, you wrap the breast in hay, you then wrapped it in cling film. <laughs> now you've wrapped it in tinfoil. <laughs> What's next? Carpet. <laughs> What are you doing? Look at that. Can't argue with that, mate. That's that's posh. Yeah, that, yeah. But you've got... <laughs> so I'm just going to fold mine. Sage on top, little fillets on top, and then just wrap nice and tightly over. Hoping all that stays in there. So the idea of the hay is to, what, perfume it? Yeah, it does give... It gives it a bit of flavour, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it keeps it quite moist as well, actually. Mm -hmm. So then you just give it a little fry at the end. Oh, so you're crisping yours now. I'm mean, going to crisp it up, get it really nice and uh, crisp on the outside, season it, and once it's all sealed, then I can put it straight in the oven. It'd be very hard to get this colour on the oven straight away. Sure. Ready? Into the oven, 30 minutes each. Yeah. I'll go to the top shelf. Just in there like that, yes? Yeah. OK, good. Yeah, 30 minutes. Uh, now, I want to talk to you about your uh, unusual sort of uh, calcium intake. Ah, uh, You once yes. drank your wife's breast milk. I did. What's all that about? Well, she had twins, and she'd been in hospital for, like, three months with them, and then she yep. got out and went to see the Foo Fighters, had a few beers, right. the milk was condemned. So I didn't want to throw it away. It's got to be good for you. I mean, it's, it's got uh, less fat, more protein. It's got to be better for you than cow's but, milk. I mean, it's, it's human milk. Um, you're looking at me now as if you just put it in your fucking new cheese recipe. Have you made cheese with it yet? People have tried, but it won't coagulate. But we could do a pretty good cappuccino. You up for it? With breast milk. Rock and roll. Now, time to see if the companies know they're apples and pears, yes? Apples and pears, apples apples and pears. yes, shit. Camroy's apples and pears are perfect dessert for this time of year. This is a Braeburn apple, nice and crisp, full of juice, hardly any acidity. This is a Comet's pear, now quite robust, quite dense in the centre, but the most amazing flavour, very, very sweet. Right, when we caramelise fruit, you've got to core the centre. Down, in, twist, and pull it out. Nice thin slices as you feel. The secret behind roasting apples and pears is making sure that they're not too ripe. If they're slightly too ripe, then the whole thing disintegrates in the pan. Look at that, it smells amazing. And now, we're gonna form a really nice caramel, but we're gonna season this can with black pepper, star anise and cloves, and that gives a really nice spice flavor when you're caramelizing the apples and pears. Pan, sugar, get it really nice and even. Therefore, the caramel starts cooking evenly and doesn't burn in the corners. Butter. That stops it from separating and splitting. Spice. Cinnamon stick, pears and apples in. Put the fat side down. And now that I'm happy with that colour, I'm going to add my Calvados. And it sort of enriches the caramel. Mm, Jesus. Then finish with apple juice. It just sort of liquefies the caramel and just takes the, the heaviness out of it. Bring that to the boil and just coat the apples and pears and let it glaze over and serve. That smells amazing. And now, just finish that with some ice cream on. 
caramelised apples and pears with ice cream. Done. We serve the madeleine because it's a really nice accompaniment. Ice cream, yeah. where's your ice cream? It's like a nice little sort of baked sponge. Once you've tasted the perfect madeleine, yes, trust me, you'll never ever forget it. 50 like that, and they're all gonna pay for it, yes? Yes, yes, Let's yes, go. yes. Right, first of all, no, madeleine's in. What am I doing the apples or the pears? I'm doing the pears. You're doing the pears, I'm doing the apples. Emily, you're not doing them for. Calvados first, apple Cal juice last. Wash your fingers, pull it back. Get the bottle away from the flame, you'll go up in a fucking... Oh. That's it, let's go. Can we send that, please? Keep the pan, don't toss it with Calvados in there, you'll fucking set yourself on fire. Come on, we yes. can do this, girls, come on! Come on. There you come. come on! Come on, girls, come on! Careful, 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 you're gonna you really hurt yourself, yeah? Certainly Very chef. careful now, yeah? Unfortunately, my, um, part of my, mm, um, dessert yeah. is burnt. It's got a wet burn. Okay, yes. I'm going to send him back. All right. Just to get it changed. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, no brilliant. Problem. Okay, nice one. Thank you. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Everyone's laughing and fucking around. Let me just show you something. Hello? Look. There you go. Yeah, that's just come back, so... Before it goes on, please don't yeah. open check it. So, right, right now, shift. right now, no. you're all making yourself look fucking stupid. Right. Okay? So, hey, I know. No, no, I'm don't no chef me. No, no, yeah. But don't we chef me. Tray there because I didn't have nowhere yeah. to put the other trays. L listen, I got it off as quick yeah, as I listen, could. Listen, listen, listen. Don't serve black madeleines. End of story. Okay? Chef, that was a mishap. All the others, if you look, I put them in the fucking bin. I missed one. It's Sorry. Come back. Yeah, Alison. but as I said, I missed one. Every other madeleine that's burnt is in the bin. I threw them in there. I must Alison, have missed one. The Copy, customer shut just up. sent it back. Yeah, I know You're that. No, I apologise. No, I'm not arguing. I'm apologising because what? I thought I, because I thought I got them all off. That's the, the standard ones. of your apology. Hello? Hey. hey. Sorry, Chef. Oh, I am sorry, Chef. Right, these ones are burnt as well, Chef. Can that be the burnt one? Oh, burnt. Oh, such a Mind good your fucking start. Mind your backs! There you go. Right, are they burnt, aren't they, Chef? Yes. Turn the tray yes. out. Turn the tray out. No, not they're like not that. Burnt. They're not burnt. They're right, they're lovely. Right, we've got some mandolines. You've got another tray left in there. Fucking hell. Wild deer are the most loved and respected of game. They're beautiful, majestic creatures, whilst their meat is widely regarded as the most regal of delicacies. Now, I've been given the chance to hunt and kill a deer myself. I'm in the middle of a forest here in Thetford, right in the heart of Norfolk. I've never shot a deer, I've never been stalking before, and I cannot wait. I've always wanted to stalk wild deer. It's one of the ultimate standoffs between man and beast. A centuries-old tradition with a huge payoff. A chance to eat some of the finest game in the world. Alan, how are you, sir? Hi, Gordon. Welcome to Thetford. Expert deer hunter Alan McCormick is going to show me the ropes. It doesn't sound easy. And what you're looking at doing is lining up on the back of the leg, right. all right, and it's a third to halfway up. And essentially, that's going to go through the vital organs of the heart and lungs and the deer. And that's now, a clean... That's a clean, clean shot. OK, good. Excellent. How exciting. Yeah, you can see that. OK. Nice and steady. Three up. Not breeze. So, squeeze when you're ready. Stags can weigh up to 350 kilo, almost four times my weight. And it takes great skill to kill a fully grown deer humanely. And, of course, the problem is, is that if you need that second shot, yeah. we need to then sort it out quickly. Yeah. I only hope I can make the all-important clean kill when it's my time to pull the trigger. Oh, shit. I can't see any holes there. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's oh, three. Oh, God. Now, every one of those shots would have taken that deer and killed it. Really? Outright. You're obviously a, a driven and competitive person. This mm -hmm. isn't a competition. We've got to wait till this is all right. Absolutely. And every time it's right, then it's fine. Shots Certainly. on, we take of course. it. Well done. We'll hunt for real tomorrow. In the meantime, Alan's got some fresh venison liver from a kill first thing this morning. It will make the perfect hunter's meal. What fascinates me with this particular dish is that the deer stalkers back in the early days would sort of treat this as their main meal. Fry up some shallots, pancetta, a bit of wild garlic and some mushrooms. Mm, it smells fucking delicious. I'll just leave them there. 
I'm just going to do a really nice sort of crouton for the bacon to sit on. Into the olive oil, and now for the liver. It's times like this, I feel a little bit like Hannibal Lecter. Nice big thick slices. It's really important when you're cooking with liver to season the liver at the very last minute. Otherwise, it dries out. Look at the colour of that liver. One minute each side. Pan smoking. Almost treat it like you're cooking a nice piece of fillet steak, a tail piece of fillet. And I tell you what, it doesn't become any fresher than that. I'm surprised there's no more deer that rock up. That smells amazing. Right. Look at that, man. That's so rich. That Peaceful. is nice. That really is nice. It's off to bed, early to rise. The stalk starts at dawn. We need to be really quiet here. Okay, you could have a deer at any point, anywhere. The plan is to stalk in silence before we see a deer. Then take aim and fire. But with a film crew, a thick mist, and my inexperience, that's easier said than done. There's two deer just down the side of the field. Shit, they're just gone. After two hours of trudging around on the ground, we still had no luck. It was time to move to a high seat, which in this weather should give us more chance. Take as much time as you can and need. Yeah. Oh, what's that there? Yeah, it's a hare. I love her. Look at him. Lovely animal, isn't he? Can I take him out? No, you bloody won't. Damn. What do you do when you're this high up and you're in desperate need for number two? <laughs> oh, there you go. He's just come out. Yeah, steady, steady, steady. It's all right. Well, they may come back again. Fuck. Oh, no, I know. It's too far. There it is. Steady. There they are. Steady. For a clean, quick kill, a deer needs to be side on and standing still. Come on, you little bastard. Turn side on. No. 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 Damn. So frustrating. Damn. There is a condition called buck fever, and it's essentially when people get excited and their adrenaline. anticipation and adrenaline of trying to. A bit like a rook now. Exactly. There's another one. There's another one. Any time now. Finally, after hours of stalking, I had the perfect clear shot of a beautiful wild deer in my sights. Now. Yeah. Wait till he stops. Now. But something didn't feel right. You're going to have to do it shortly. Instead of pulling the trigger, I took my finger off it. That was really frustrating after all those hours spent stalking the deer and then the chase is exciting. There's no two ways about that. That's very sort of boyish, but it's really weird when you get it in your sight and you think, God, should I pull that trigger or not? I don't know. Maybe I'm becoming a vegetarian. Next on the menu, Alex James tries to persuade me uh, breast so is best. I really like it. Alex! Ooh, he's got it on my... Hugh's itching to know who owns my new pasture. I feel like I'm on through the keyhole, Gordon. <laughs> I can't imagine who lives here. Someone with a bit more taste than you, that's for sure. And you're such a fucker. Give me. And the EastEnders find out if they've done well enough to come back and cook in my West End restaurant. Results of the desserts. Out of 50 diners. Come on, come on. Welcome back to the F Word. Now, time for the results of the recipe challenge. Time to plate up. Nervous? Always a little bit nervous yes. in the kitchen. What are you serving with it? I'm uh, going to do a little bit of spinach and shallots. Just smell this hay, man. Does that smell? Fucking It's quite honey. <laughs> honey, wouldn't you say? Uh, or just it's Alex, no, it smells like a fucking pigsty. It smells very sweaty. It smells good to me. I think getting the hay off is the worst thing. <laughs> The way those fingers are, the way you're roasting things with your fingers, you're not using any tongs. Fingers. Very chefy, that, you know that? It's all right. You happy with that? I am, yes. yes? Yeah. So you should be. JB? Yes. Yeah. So, roast belly of lamb? Yeah. Yes. Stuffed saddle of lamb. Ellie, de pechoala. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Thank you. 
So this is the stuff line, number one. Okay. And then number two. Bon appétit. Right. Which one should we try first? Number one. Number two. Right. Should we try this one? Number one. Mm. Moist, very moist. A little bit fatty. Mm. Mm. Yeah, beautifully cooked. Let's try the other one, shall we? I like mine, um, a little bit more picking. Oh, yeah. No, I love the flavour. Yeah. Good flavour coming through. Mushrooms, lovely. That's a pea. That, for me, is absolutely sublime. Well, you've put me to the test. I'm going to put you to the test now. Okay. I want to see if you can taste one of my very special cappuccinos. Uh-huh. With breast milk? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Can you froth breast milk? Yeah, it should, it's all about how fresh the milk is. That's how well it froths. Right. Okay. I can't believe you never tasted it before. No, I've never. Missing. You know, in, in, in California, the, the ladies are all having it after their pilates. No, I'm scared. Breast milk's cappuccino. Oh. On your cornflakes, all over the place. It's sweet. It's really sweet, isn't it? Fucking I love hell. it. I really like it. Alex! <laughs> we get some more. And if you have started a new fucking craze, then it's all your fault, you know that, huh? <laughs> okay, right, ready for results. Well, I wasn't happy with that at all. <laughs> fucking breast meat cappuccino. Oh, <laughs> Alex. Okay. Give right. me the good news because, yeah. yeah, one's rolled and wrapped in hay and okay. one's a beautiful salad of lamb. Don't fuck around. No. Okay, so on this, on this occasion, you're the winner. Yes, in there, <laughs> yes! No, well done, mate. Thank you, buddy. Uh, good luck with the Christmas single. Come here. Uh, <laughs> now, do me a favour. Yes. Fuck off out of my kitchen. <laughs> Get back to that cheese. Thank Bye -bye. you, Alex. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Today, Hugh is helping me transport my lambs to Pastor's new. We arrive at my sheep's temporary new home while the owner is still at work. Happy with the grass? I think I was hoping for slightly more acreage, I'll admit Go. it, but... Look at the length of this. What I like, you know, that's good grass. Oh, well, that. don't waste it. <laughs> I'm going to put it back down. Oh, I'll make you eat it. <laughs> I do not want to look stupid in front of madam, you know that. Hang on, you've got it on the hammer. You need to be able to see daylight. Yeah, I can see daylight now. Yeah, it's upside down. Ooh. That's the back, right? Or is it the front? I'm Any intrigued. Idea? I feel like I'm on through the keyhole, Gordon. Right. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine who lives here. Someone with a bit more taste than you, that's for sure. Oh, you're such a fucker. Well, um, she has a creative eye. I think she'll be pretty much impressed with the way we put this together. What, and a couple this of familiar bottles. little palace will help my sheep adjust to the new environment and give them a sheltered place out of the rain. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Well, well. Very well, thank you. How uh, are you? First of all, a big thank How you. Amazing. <laughs> That's How a pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having them. That's an absolute pleasure. Uh, hello. hello. How, are How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Nice I gather to be you've here. Been, uh, you've been building. You've, sheep you've been the mystery guest all afternoon. <laughs> I didn't well, know whose garden I was in. <laughs> I did uh, say it was a, a woman of class uh, and taste, though, well, didn't well, I? Well, I'm so glad you recognised <laughs> that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that straight in. Hey. Oh, I'm liking this. We could, who did this? Who did this? Uh, that was That's a Gordon. That's you. <laughs> Gordon's <laughs> corner. Is Gordon's is corner. Gordon's corner. Oh, can you behave? <laughs> Do I need to read to them? Do you read to them? Did you read to them in your garden? When I come home at night sometimes yeah. and to get them out and I come by, come by, come by. It's a bit of a Welsh thing with May, my shepherd. <laughs> You've got to try it, Sarah. So you do that. OK. Go on. So, come by, come by, come by. Too loud. No, yeah, too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Too loud. <laughs> you wait, they're going to be really, really looked after here. Loved. They're going to have a lovely I'm, time. I'm glad. They're going to be happy. See? I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. They come in my voice. I do think that happy meat tastes better. Definitely. I think Absolutely. it does, doesn't Definitely. it? Absolutely. But any problems? I'm only five minutes down the road. We'll get some sun and rain, yeah. more grass. Thank no you. problem. Hope that shed stays up. <laughs> I'll call you if it doesn't. <laughs> The dessert was really delicious. Some of the apples were a little bit undercooked and a little bit hard to cut into, um, but the ice cream and the sauce was really, really delicious, and I would definitely pay for the dessert. The pears and the apple were really, really quite raw, really hard to bite, couldn't even get your fork through. I scraped my plate clean. The whole thing was really delicious, really complemented each other really well, and really tasty. Good end to the meal. OK, let's go. Ladies, please. Here we go. 
Jack. Let's go. Let's go. Guff, let's go. Results of the desserts. How do you think you've done? We worked a lot harder, I think, on the dessert. Yeah, teamwork. We've done a bit more teamwork on the dessert than we did on the uh, main. So, 37 out of 50 for starters, 30 out of 50 for main, out of 50 diners. Yes? and are happy to pay for it. Oh, oh my god. It was really hard. That's a grand total nice. of 96 out of 150. Oh my god, that oh, is terrible. Right. That's terrible. We ain't coming back. If you worked harder as a team and spent less time shouting, shouting at each swearing. other, you could have achieved a little bit more. You could have done it a lot better. Why are you so gobby? I was trying to be the leader. Yes. Yes, sir. Right. I there's only one fucking leader here. Nice <laughs> <Yeah. you. Okay. laughs>